all in stable conditions. Are we together up to that point? The rest, some of them had already been picked, taken by the, by the parents. So we cannot give you a figure as at now. See yes. We can't give you a no, by the way, listen, listen, ladies and gentlemen, yes. we have not given you the statement. <laughs> no, we have not given you the statement. No, listen, we have not given you the statement to confirm the numbers. Then did you No, no, no. We it is that you were spokesperson have been reported. You said 20 have who are missing have been found. Yes. 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 So and yesterday, so what we are looking at yesterday. The okay, order, 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 order. The deputy president said that 70 were missing. So we are doing a calculation that if you say 20 have been found, we are now looking at 50 who are missing. Now let, let me explain. Let me let me explain. We need to be very careful about the number. I want to take you back to the Maimahio tragedy. As I'm that there were 300 people who had died, but in actual sense there were 40. Representing the government to come back to you with some more accurate figure. As soon as the investigators give us the numbers. Because Right now, right now, ladies and gentlemen, right now we only have, please, please order, right now we only have, and we pass our most sincere condolences, 156 boys are the ones in the, in the, in the room, please any number in between allow us to come back to you, CS. There's no number I, I, I think because, I think There's because no they are number. still collating, allow them to do that exercise today, in tomorrow's update, there will be those exact figures so exactly. that you get an actual position that you can report on the numbers for tomorrow. So the question, the question, his question was, because the information that is recorded yes. here, yes. We, uh, the spokesperson began okay. with the number 20. Do we remove it? Do we expand it? No, no, you... you, you because it's already you recorded. Uh, okay. Can you give me time to find that out and then I'll send you a document, please? Okay. Yeah? So the, the two questions that you asked are related. Whether they do drills to ensure that they are prepared, they are supposed to. As to whether or not it is done on a regular basis is part of the investigation that we are going to do. And I can assure you that part of the investigation that we are going to do is to do a self-audit of the ministry. Has, have we, as a ministry, been doing what we are supposed to do in confirming that these regulations and these policies are followed. So that is exactly what we are doing and we are saying as they investigate, as they find out what the cause of the fire was, we are also doing an internal investigation ourselves, a self-assessment of whether or not we've been doing what we are supposed to do. And if we have not been doing what we are supposed to do, we'll ask ourselves why and answer that question is going to be part of the report. So that exercise is being done. What measures are being taken to ensure accountability in this particular case? Will there be anyone being held accountable? Of course, hundred percent. If somebody did not do their part, they will be held accountable. And we're going to be as transparent as possible. As I said, if you recall, we cannot have this going on year after year after year after year. We have to bring it to a conclusion. If we find that the policies are there but people are not doing what they are supposed to do because there is no penalty, then I'm prepared under the recommendations of the working party that we are using now to do the particular reformation in the, in the, in the education sector to introduce these regulations, move them up from policies into law so that there are penalties that somebody can face for not doing what they are supposed to do, as opposed to it maybe being a disciplinary action when you are supposed to have done something, you have not done it, and people are losing life. Find that it's because compliance is not adhered to because of non-penalty, then we can move it up to become statutory 
And once it is statutory, you face criminal charges for you not taking the action you are supposed to take. We cannot allow this to go on. How binding is your word? Because we have had these statements before. Exactly uh, the way you are putting mine it. is binding because, as I said, party recommendation report right now in which we are doing changes and amending even the Basic Education Act and many other 13 pieces of law so that we can have an education system that works, that there are no gaps, there are no blind spots, there are no organizations that are operating in a silo form. There is continuity. You see, like here, we are working as a government. We should be able to act from one source so that we know when you are not doing something right, you can't say, I'm not answerable to you because I belong to another institution. The law needs to be harmonized in a way that we know we are under one government, under one constitution. So that is what we are going to do. And is there one any question. support system available for a learning institution to ensure such emergencies there's swift response to them? Yes, I think there is. There is, you know, like now, yesterday when the fire occurred, the county government was able to release the fire, uh, fire emergency team, and it arrived here 16, 16 minutes after the fire. So the system is in place. The county works as out. The county commissioner, the Ngao team, is in place to assist us with security and everything else. So we work as a team, and that system is. It's available. You just need to tap into it. Just one. Uh, on, 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 please, let, let, let us have a way of asking questions so that it's not everybody. Uh, yeah. Can we start with you, then we come to you? Thank yes. you. Yes. So my name, this is to the government spokesman. My name is Hilary Orinde. I work with the French news agency AFP. I just want to recap the statement and ask my question with it. You say that we are on 18 dead right now, and we are in the process of doing DNA identification. We can only do DNA identification on bodies. Can you confirm to us on record here that we might still find more bodies in that building or it's only the 18 that are conclusive and we can't find more bodies. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we, as we, we were actually inside there, the DCI and the government pathologist, they are still collecting evidence and classifying it in such a coordinated manner. They need to get the coordinates of who was sleeping where, how and how. It's a bit int intricate. So we expect, if at all, their fatalities to recover more bodies. So this is not conclusive. That is why the investigations are going. And le let me also clarify this, ladies and gentlemen. So could we have it on record that the toll will go higher? No. No, we can't say that. That is like see. wishing uh, <laughs> uh, people to die. Can't. No, you can't say that. What we are saying uh, is that the process that is ongoing is such a way that uh, they have been able, we have talked to the pathologist, to say that when they look at the body scientifically, they burnt in this particular way and they were able to count it in uh, 17 bodies. One died in the hospital. That is the number. Let's not speculate. Let's just go with that number. Now. Exactly. Maybe Waziri, we, uh, maybe we just that, just that. But I think Waziri, we must all agree as Kenyans that yes. these numbers represent people. people. Yes. And so even as we bandy around numbers, yes. please, please let us know that those numbers represent children, boys, that have parents, have relatives, mm -hmm. and the more we haggle about numbers, the more we traumatize our people. Mm -hmm. Kindly, it, let's allow that the scientific, whatever that is going on, be carried on, and then we are able to give specific numbers that we can stand for. Yeah. So I, I think, I think uh, as the governor said, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 Let, let me clarify this. Yesterday, there was a figure of 70, uh, 70 children who had been admitted. Only four are currently in hospital. hospital. So that tells you the rest, 66, are already out. Out of the 156. So, so kindly, the rest of the figures to achieve. Yes, sir. Okay, my question was, mm. was it a behavior of two under uh, representative, which you are saying Are you satisfied on the safety precautionary measures set by the Ministry of Education? The safety precautionary measures set by the Ministry of Education are sufficient if they are adhered to. But the challenge has been in some institutions they've not adhered to. And I'm not saying this institution because we have not finished that in preliminary investigation. It has to go in tandem with what the regulations say. I can't stand here and say it is not meeting because I have to get a preliminary report from where I can say it met or it did not meet. But the provision the regulations in existence are sufficient if they are adhered to. The challenge we've had in this country is not lack of laws or lack of policies. It's a situation where people 
do not follow them or flout them. So, 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 well, well, let's have, let's have, uh, yes, sir. <laughs> Let, let's have you, and then minor. Who else? One more. Now, Anita, you've already that asked a question. That has an okay, then the lady. So, we start with you, sir. Then the lady. Then minor. You are the last. Okay. Yes. It's for her. Okay. 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 Thank you for being gender sensitive. Yes. <laughs> yes. What? What? What's your media house, please, and your name. Okay. Okay. The what? What do you mean by measurement? It is part of the investigation. Let me help him. Mm. But from it meets the 1.2 that is required. It's, 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 it's a proper and it was opening outwards. But that's not the only requirement. There are many others. Please let's not speculate. The report will come out. I will be as transparent as possible with you because I need your help in ensuring that we put these things in the right way. Exactly. So just give us time. The information is for you to be consumed by the public. So we'll be as transparent and we've been ordered to ask the hard questions, to challenge ourselves, look internally. Is there something that we can do and do better? Where we've done better, we improve. Where we have not, we change. Yeah, actually, Margaret, <laughs> just what what CSR said, those, those measurements can only be with the investigators. So allow them to do their work. Yeah. And the CS is very keen on ensuring that he's a new CS, he's just come in. And you know a new broom sweeps clean. I'm lucky in that exactly. sense. Exactly. Yes, Maina. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, now, talking about uh, reforming the education system and going forward, we remember a while back when we had these cases, there was a proposal of banning boarding in primary school. Is it about time we consider such proposal? That's a national conversation that we have to, to have. You see, what I said is, when you have a problem like this, you look at it broadly. Let us have that discussion and find out what was the purpose of uh, boarding schools. Do we still need them? And if we do, and remember now there's something called public participation. It's not for one person to come and say we don't want uh, uh, boarding schools. It's a bigger conversation. But we are going to look at the whole sector and see what can be done, to, uh, including ages. What age should we send our children to boarding schools at? These are th questions that we need to ask ourselves, not just as a ministry, but as parents as well. When you take your children to school, do you check where your children are going to sleep? What, you know, these are some of the oversight, uh, little oversight things you can do, because if you bring a child to school and you're not satisfied, you take them to a different school, the sponsors of the school will be required to improve. So all of us have a role to to play and we are looking forward and saying because we are doing this reformation at this time and we are asking ourselves these difficult questions it is time that we can ask even those questions like the one you've asked which perhaps you could not have asked a few years back you've, you've talked about transferring uh, children to to schools we are talking about good schools there are not so many in kenya right no there are many Good schools. Yes. I'm talking about good schools. What is your, defi there is, there what is your is, definition of good? <laughs> there, is, there is a reason some, why some parents... <laughs> Enoch, kindly Enoch. make your question <laughs> precise and it's the last one, kindly. See, see me privately. <laughs> okay, I think thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 Ah, <laughs> 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 <
igoro ria mu tinori ora tukorire na niwega kugweta ati timu cio the ire guko umuthe tu tore na waziri wa githomo niwe wetagwo mweshimi wa ugamba tore na mudugu etuo uh, ps na mwalia wa thirikali ni magukete muthenya wa muthena tungienda kuga ni muno muno ingienda kwaleria andu aitu ndimere meumiriria uh, tuti turahota kumenya wega namba ziri ya ile cia andu aria twana turia tungiko tuthie tutigete no twaikia ritho riu ni tukinyetie 18 na no turagithi na mbere na uthuthuria ni tugete na ni wega twire wananchi na aciari twambe tumahe policy tu ni undu wa muti noyo makorete na tumere ati uthuthuria riu ri othe na mbere ni wagi science na no kurekwa maundu metagwa DNA testing nigetha tuhote kumenya tondu mwaki ucio rari muingi na ciana iria ihete ihete undu tange ciota gushimenya na gushirora kwoguo ni tukwenda kuga uh, tuhoe aciari aitu matuike patient kugikinya mande tugakora ithuo that ari aciari tukiheo ni nako tuguthie ari amatange koro mutonete ciana ciao undu uri ungi no wega kugweta ati ni turoria adu aitora rere wabera tukimashokeria gatho tondu niyo maguthukire na magiuka gututeithereria kuhoria mwaki na kure twana tumwerege twaumire guko tugithie mudu akoyaga ake na kaonge ari amagikoro mekete ugu ni turamahoya mahure thimo ya 1199 niyo ya red cross nigetha mariporti ate mena twana tou na nigetha tugitara twana turia tureciria ni tuwe haria tuli tukoro tukimenya kuria twana tuikaira muthenya wa ira nduratwarire cia na mirongo mugwanja thibitari ya mount kenya ithi igathi muona ithuthurio kana kuri tuhetu ture kuri kare gikoro nodu na twari ahari ari othe marathuthurirwo no kamwe karatigirwo thibitari yo na nenyuma gukona muthenya umuthe na nikega na muciari wako ne agukainukia ni kuri kana karare madhari ka turaga twara kenyata na kwa bahati juru muthenya wa muthe ni gatutigire ni hari ciana ithatu ile Kenya ata ya ino ya eotha ya ile ni Kenya ata ya Nairobi no ni kau ni ko gatutigire no Kenya ata ya eotha ya twena twana tutatu turathi na mbere guthondekwo aa no turathi na mbere kurorwo koguo ndigenda gutha ithandu aitu na demorie ni tondu wa uritori uri ho meterere adu ara maratumira nyamu icio citagwa DNA government pathologist na ari angi mathie magithuthuragia nginya mari tu he na mbere yagireire na kwoguo ngirikia ni kwenda gucokia gatho kuri thirikari nene ni undu wa uka kunyitanira na ithu ta county tucokerie president na deputy president gatho ni tondu deputy president ni arokire uh, president ni aratutumire rambi rambi na igoro ria mothe ona muthenya wa mothe first lady ni atumana ni tuwe mari rugendo na tuge tuhoreria andu othe tumere ngai amuhe hinya na mwiumiririe ni mumenye thirikali ciari ni iraruta wira tukigeria guteithania maundu maria mothe mariho na turia ndirogire ira mirigu eno yothe riu ni ya thirikali thirikali nene na thirikali nini ni tugukua murigoyo nigetha tutaithia andu aitu thank you